guys very good evening to all of you welcome to the video number 345 uh, in this video we are going to talk about that how you can actually export the outlook email content for example when you receive the email uh, you have the sender name you have the uh, the subject line you have the you know the people actually marked in the two and then in the cc and then in bcc as well and the, and one more thing which we want to actually discuss in this video is that if the email which you you know is uh, which you're trying to export the details of that email uh, was it actually uh, a reply to your email or was it a forwarded email or was it a normal email a new email which uh, you know was sent to you so this, this is something uh, which we would like to gather in our excel you know so uh, i'm going to actually assist one of my subscribers who uh, you know posted this question three days ago as you can see uh, amanath actually said that good morning how to know this it is reply or reply all or forwarded and how to know specific email id be present in two or cc details in excel sheet and also get all recipient email id or cc in the excel sheet so in this video we basically we are going to target that um, as i was talking about guys if you look at the, this uh, outlook right now in my inbox so i have a lot of emails here and because i don't use this you know for the communication purpose uh, my outlook uh, email so you see that i really don't have any other ids i mean it's just the my ids but that's fine you know we can use this dummy emails and we can actually see that or we can do with that now what uh, before i go further i want to tell you how you can recognize whether the email is a reply or it is a forward email it is very simple when somebody send you the email for example if i have received this email from ajay let's say is a person whose name is ajay and uh, he actually has forwarded me this email okay first time i mean he has forwarded me if i'm going to click on the reply okay or on the reply all for example if i click on the reply you get to see our e word it's going to fix the subject line so from there we can actually check whether that is a reply to your email or it is a fresh email right if i just go ahead and close this I just close this now guys if i use this forward option okay, if i use the forward option then i get to see here a word called fw it's going to be prefixed with this subject line so in this way also we can actually uh, you know get to know whether this is a forward email or this is a reply or this is a normal email so that is what we are going to do in this now before i go further i want to tell you if you're watching the channel for the first time guys uh, we have the different different videos here if you go to my channel uh, if i if i just take you to my you know what you need to do is basically when you click on the, this uh, the video manager you may not see this option but what you can do is you just need to click on the playlist right you click on the playlist you will see here 42 different categories on excel excel vba access and access vba so we have a video here we have a playlist uh, on the excel outlook there are like 25 videos if i just uh, take you to that uh, list let me check this is the one so when you click on this you will get to see 36 amazing videos on the outlook right? so every video is unique every video is different and in every video i have tried to answer your queries so let's go ahead and you know start the code so here i have the excel and what i'm going to do is i'm going to write here the couple of information like, like for example two and then cc and then bcc if somebody's marked there and then i'm going to uh, write here the subject let's see and then i'm going to write here status now status would show us three categories if it is a reply it will show here you know reply and if it is a forward email it will show here forward and if it is normal email we would like to display here as a normal so this is what actually we want so to start this first of all you need to decide which folder you're talking about now if you're actually going to decide folder called the inbox then so I, in this video i'm going to target the inbox but otherwise if there is any other folder there is a subfolder uh, and definitely go ahead and you know program this i'm going to tell you that as i have told in my previous videos also but this time also we're going to learn it the first thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to simply go and you know click on the tool in the reference and in the tool in the reference please ensure that this microsoft outlook 16.0 object library should be activated if you don't see this and just press m and go and check you know because for the first time when you're going to use this you not see this microsoft outlook you, default it is not there because it's excel 
the Excel VB and Outlook libraries are not going to be activated. You will have to on it. So just uh, you know, just press uh, M and see that where is the Microsoft Outlook. You need to just on it. Okay. Now this is a 16.0 because I'm using 16.0. I'm using the till 2016 guys. Just what you are actually using, which version you are using, that number will show there. But it is not going to impact. Where it is going to impact, I will tell you in the end of the video. So we are going to start the program and I am going to type this program as fetch information. Okay. So fetch information. So let me just create some space and uh, this time what we want to do is I want to first of all uh, find my Outlook object and this is how I am going to find them O as Outlook dot application. And then I am going to write here set O equals to new Outlook dot application. So we are going to use the Outlook class and uh, if you remember when I actually press add, you know as I to see this output application and the reason why it was coming automatically obviously because of this tool and the reference where you actually have you know activated this Microsoft output 16.0 if you don't do that it will give you the error for example if I just uncheck this and run the code you can run it you will get the error on the very first line and it's going to say that this library user type function is not defined so is very much mandatory for you because we are actually using the early binding method the early binding method means that you are before the code i mean the begin i mean the moment you run f8 like this here on the first line we will know that you know what it has to do which object actually we are going to connect with right okay so the another thing which we want to do is i want to declare my folder uh, I, want, I want to go in the inbox folder so to go in the inbox folder what you need to do is you need to find one class so let's say i'm going to define this ons as outlook namespace now namespace is a class which you use to define the folders and this is how you write ons equals to o get namespace now if you if you're following the channel regularly then you must be very familiar with all these you know code time to writing it you know i always try to explain it as much as i can because uh, because you know every time when this video is going to be uploaded uh, some of you must be new to the channel so i really don't want to you know uh, uh, hush the situation i really don't want to go fast but i'm at the time when i'm writing i want to explain the things as well but since we have explained this a lot like in 25 videos you can go and watch all those videos you will get the idea so guys this uh, message application and uh, this p stands for uh, i think uh, the platform interface so basically th these are the standard lines you will have to write if you're going to deal with the folder okay so now here is my folder i'm going to define my fol as outlook folder so your folder would be what well my folder is going to be fol equals to ons get no, default folder which default folder it, it's going to be the box because i want to run the loop in the box folder so for example you can see in my outlook there is a sub folder if you want that then what you can do you just need to press this folder you press here folders and then you just write in the course dummy word if you want to run the loop in the folder that's it okay. but i'm going to delete it right away because i just want to run the loop in the inbox folder once the folder is created what what is the next thing you want to do well i want to run the loop is you want to actually run the loop for each email in the folder dot emails so uh, whatever email i have i want to access all these emails one by one so we are going to use the collection loop so we i am going to define here o mail as outlook dot mail item this is the class which we are going to use and then i'm going to write set o mail equals to then i'm going to write two dot and uh, the mail you know uh, get uh, sorry the create create item and you got to write o mail item this is how you write the things now this o mail is going to be considered here considered uh, as email this is your email and this is your folder so this is what you will write you will write like this for each this is a collection loop inbuilt loop which you will have to learn as it is right so each o mail in folder dot items this is how we write and this is not a new code as i said we have used it a lot in diff different different projects of the outlook right so now uh, let me just use some backspace here so this is the code now what we want to do is you want to actually export the values in the set okay over here let's say so what we need to do is uh, let me uh, first of all here we can do one thing uh, you can write here dim ws as worksheet 
okay and you can define your worksheet as well which is going to be this workbook so i can write like this this workbook and the sheet and then you can write the sheet name so my sheet name is actually sheet one so i just write this okay this is going to help me in actually exporting so what i will do now i'm simply going to write here ws dot and then the cell in the row number which is r which is i'm going to define it again so the column number one dot value now this value has to be equals to what this value has to be equals to two so whatever the you know you have the, the two that should be marked and then ws cells then the same row number but the column number two the value has to be equals to what with cc right and then i'm going to actually pick it and paste it here and in the meantime let me do one thing let's go to the inbox and why don't we do one thing um let me just you know then this let's say reply and i'm gonna put somebody in the book so let's say i'm gonna write here uh, maybe my email id which is this ajk and uh, 3802 at the rate gmail.com okay and if you need add something in the bcc i mean usually you can do that i think i'm fine with that so this is going to and you can write i mean one more item for example i can write my no id as well so i can write this is my yahoo email id okay and that's it i'm going to send this email let me send this the email must be going and i would see this in a minute but let's go ahead and see the code so what is the next thing i want to do well the next thing i want to do is subject line you want to capture the subject line so uh what you do is in the column number three over here uh yeah here you can write email dot and you can write the subject right now for the status what we will do we will put the if condition okay so we will write here if um the omit dot uh, the subject okay um so if if the omit subject actually has got uh, so i use the like word it contains uh you know the re word for example it is going to be how, how you're gonna write it i'm gonna write it re and then the colon okay and put it within the quotes double quotes and join it with the star when you write it write it with the star that means that anything can come after and before re word so i'm going to write here the star and i'm going to join it in this way this is how your you know condition would look like so then and please ensure that because if is a case sensitive right as i have said in my many of my videos so if you look at this this re is capital right so this should go like this only right so if if it is re if it can is the re then you need to do is in the cells the column number the row number r and the column number is going to be four uh no so it's five it has to be the value has to be equals to what the value has to be equals to light or maybe you can say reply okay and if it is not the case then what you want to do you can join it here you know another line which you can write this way let me copy this and paste it here we can write here another else if because this is another condition if this happens which means fw okay and it should write here forward okay and just in case if it that is also not the case then what it can do you can simply write we can go in the else and we can write here let me just copy this line now you can write here you know that it is actually going to be a normal email so i'm just going to write here normal email or you can write fresh email okay fresh email for example and uh, then at the end we can write here and if okay so in that way you can capture everything okay i think uh, we are done just one thing i want to declare here r as long and we should definitely before we start the loop r has to be equals to two if you want to start your exporting you know from the row number two and making sure before you go to the next let's have the increment of the r so r has to be increased by one so that we should be on the next row then all right so let's go ahead and run the code and let's see if we can get this so i'm gonna run this code and let me just some backspace here so, and some backspace here as well okay 
So I guess we are fine. Let's run this. Let's have a look. Here we go. All right. So what is the first one? I have got the Ajay Pramar, you know, which is in the two. CC is going to be blank. All right. And then in the third, it should say BCC. So, uh, no, actually, it's not BCC. It is subject to, I think, I should have written here, not BCC. Right. And uh, then the next line also we can write. If you want the subject, then I mean you can write the subject as well. But I think subject may not be required because after all you are using the subject here as well in terms of knowing the status. That's fine. I'm doing everything. So we can use the four here and let's run this. Right there we go. You can see here we got the subject. You know the subject of the email. Now this doesn't include the re so this must be a fresh email so it goes in the else and it should write here the fresh email perfect and if r is going to be incremented so we will be on the row number three next time when the email comes so if you run this this is how things will look like so you keep on you know running this loop and this is how it will look like right guys so i have all the fresh emails coming there will be a couple of you know replies as well and this is what we actually need to check so let me quickly run this we go and it seems yeah everything is a fresh email there we go there we go okay this is the forward one oh you can see here it says forward right so i can i let me just press f5 and we are through with this okay that's it now you can filter this and you can see that you know basically which all emails are actually the replies and who was the sender right so in this way you will be able to you can I mean whatever you want to do and also you can use the date as well just in case if you want to use the date guys so I hope you know that that we have a property here which is a uh, modified date I think uh, let me just show you if I can uh, omil dot uh, date I think was date modified there it is uh, I can scroll it down let me sh see that so um we have the creation time there right so we have the creation time there and uh, and 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 yeah the one that's modification time also you can use right what else we have do we have anything else mission print out received by name there are a lot of things here received on the behalf of you know this is also something received time yeah that's something also you can capture so these are all the you know the different different properties you can go through all these properties one by one and you can use whatever you actually want to use center email address email type and the name is also there right so there are a lot of things send using account which account actually they are using so in this way you can actually do all these properties and you can use it as per your requirement right so this is how you can uh, make this code and you can use it right? so i hope i have answered your query and next time guys i will be back with one of your again you know the questions which you keep which you are writing me and uh, posting on the channel i will be back with and one more attempt actually to answer your queries till then have a very happy learning and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching bye bye